going guys welcome back today we're going to be showing you the optimizations for fortnite as you can see here so the first optimization you want to do is you want to go over to nvidia control panel after you've done that you want to go over to adjust image settings with preview and it should be on this let the application decide you want to change it to use my preference emphasizing and click it to performance and you want to click apply and then after that you want to go over to manage 3d settings you want to click global preset and click base profile you want to have image scaling off ambient occlusion off anisotropic filtering off and the aliasing FXAA off, gamma correction off, and the aliasing off. You want to put the background application max frame rate, which is stuff that runs in the background while you are, you could say, stuff that runs in the background while you are playing the game. So if you had Chrome open, this would run at 20 FPS. You can experiment with this, let's see again. It's just personal preference. And after that, you want to click sysmem fallback policy this does not matter too much you can put driver default low latency mode you want to experiment with this i would, I would put ultra that's my personal preference but you might have to change it you want to put your max frame rate up to whatever you want mine's just going to be on a thousand and this stuff does not matter you might not see this on your card And for shader cache size, you want to go for 10 gigs if you have the storage for it. But you could go less if you like. Um, texture filtering, quality, high performance, threaded optimization. This can go. You want to put threaded optimization on. This should help with people who have V-Sync. Triple buffering, I would turn on if you are using V-Sync. Virtual sync, for me, I'm, this is personal preference here, again, depending on what your machine is. For me, I would go for adaptive, but this just depends on what card you've got. And after that, you want to apply the changes this should freeze there you go and you want to go to change resolution and as you can see it will say your refresh right here so if your monitor can handle it you want to go down to pc and you want to click your resolution and then change refresh rate to whatever the highest is just to make sure you're getting the maximum performance for your machine Now, for me, saturation will go on 75%, hue 180, I'm going to put brightness to 75%, this is just depends on your personal preference yet again, but I would recommend the saturation part, this will make your image pop out manage cpualization dedicate graphics tasks this might change every time but apply now you want to go over to game mode settings in your taskbar and you want to make sure game mode is on so that's on graphic settings on the side click on fortnite well it's browse it's Fortnite client, Win64, and then shipping.exe. This is the file in here. Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, Fortnite client, Win64 shipping.exe, and you want to click options, highest performance. Present symbol, you want to click Windows R. Present symbol, local, no caps, local, app, data. 
and click enter. You now this should bring you to something like this. You want to go into Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, game user settings dot ini, and you'll see all of this. And you'll have all of these. I'm going to quickly change the font. So you'll see all of these these settings. You want to find your resolution and you want to make sure, depending on what you want, you want it on 1080p, 1920 by 1080. Ray tracing off, obviously, render uh, resolution quality. For me, I want mine on 100%. So you'll have all of these settings. You want to change this to whatever you want. For low settings, you want to make sure you're on preferred feature level ES31, which is performance mode. You want the mesh quality on 1, which is low, and 2, which is high. Texture quality is 0. I don't know why all of this is like this. I would probably go for... I'm just going to change a few settings for myself. For stretch res, you want to do 1720 by 1080. 1720 by 1080. And you want to click out and then click save. This is a 2024 updated version. So you want to go to your search bar, adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. And depending on which one you want, you want to click. Select the settings that you want to use for the appearance and performance of Windows on this computer, visual effects. Let Windows choose a, b a best performance, best appearance, custom. I'm going to go for best appearance because I don't really mind the extra usage, but best performance will maybe give you one or two more FPS, depending on how low-end your computer is. It could give you more or less. I'm just going to put mine on appearance, but this is personal preference. And it basically ma makes Windows look pretty. And um, if you have a low amount of RAM, you can use something called page file. You want to go onto your fastest drive. You want to add a page file for around double your RAM. So if you have four gigs, you want to do maybe 6,000 and maximum 6,000. I'm going to go for this because obviously it's not really necessary for me. And then after that... That is all of the optimizations that you need for a low-end computer. Uh, I'll put the specs on screen now for what this will mostly affect. So people with this, whatever's here about right now, people with these specs probably will get their highest boost. If you have something like 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's not going to make much of a difference. But if you have something like maybe four or eight or if you have a hard drive this could help with loading times and stuff oh and there's an extra tip forgot this you want to go into your epic games you want to click on your profile picture settings you want to scroll all the way down to fortnite Ad allow additional command line arguments and you want to put dash lan play space dash no splash dash no texture streaming dash well space dash use all available cores this is pretty self-explanatory all it will do is make your system use all of the resources that is available to it uh, that's everything if you will do another one of these in the future you guys have a great day if like and subscribe if you find this useful or if this helped you comment down below what your fps difference was the before and the after just to show people who maybe are new to F uh, fps optimizations bye